guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Shiv B from Pen My Blog, and today we're going to be discussing on something interesting, which is the Face Shop's collab with Coca Cola. Now, I know what you're thinking. The Face Shop has done many cute collabs before. We have the Trolls, we have so many others, and now for 2018, we have the Coke Collection. And ta da, this is the Coke Collection, you guys. And even though I did receive this in PR, that is not going to be changing my opinions about it. This is going to be an unbiased first impression, and that is what you guys are going to get. So, inside here, we have four products. We have the oil control water cushion, we have the velvet lipstick, we have the Coke Bear lip tint and the Mono Pop eyes. Now since I am going out for a press event today, it is the perfect time for me to test out all four of these products for you. But in terms of the Coke collection, I do believe that there are some additional ones that we didn't get in the press pack. But it is okay because this collection is already made available to the face shop so you can find them in stores and online so you can definitely check it out there. So like always, I'm going to be starting off with the base. So here I have the all control water cushion now this is in v201 apricot beige and you guys i really know that this cushion foundation is going to be a bit too light on my skin so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to prep and prime the skin with a good primer and then i'm going to be going in with my daily foundation routine and then i'm going to be using this cushion to kind of highlight the areas that i want to highlight and bring the whole face three-dimensional all right so for starters i've already primed my face now i'm going to be going in with my daily foundation routine now honestly you guys, if I could find a cushion foundation that was in my shade that I could bring out with me anywhere, oh my gosh, I don't think I would ever part with it. Like honestly, show me a brand that comes out with a cushion foundation that actually matches to my shade or darker, I will be all over it. Now like all cushion foundations, this one does come with a puff, but I am going to go in with my blending pearl because I want the foundation that I've already put on to blend seamlessly together with this one, so that's what I'm going to do. Underneath the eye... Ooh, girl. You guys see how light that is? The difference. I think honestly, if I got V203, it wouldn't be that bad. But I can always use this for highlighting purposes. And when you blend it out, you get that nice sheen. And then you can always set it with a setting powder and then all is good. And once that is done, I'm going to be going in with the Monopop Eyes Coke Red Eyeshadow Palette. And you guys, even though that whole name is a little bit of a mouthful, look at these tones inside. Now you have nine beautiful warm shades here and they are a good mix between mattes, metallics, sheen, glitter. So yeah, I think I'm just going to quickly start on with the bright red as a transition and then I'm going to fill in the colors as we go along. Now I'm really hoping that the shades are going to be pigmented because you guys, I've played with Korean eyeshadows before as well as the face shop ones like their single eyeshadows recently their mattes have been really really great and i think that they have improved the formulation so much so i kind of hope that they have sort of implemented this into the palette and also just for an update i am not going to be putting any primer at all so the shadows are going to be going on as it is Ooh. okay oh wow yes pigmentation on this though and it blends out really really well like i'm looking at it through the screen where you guys are at and i'm like yes so the mattes are up to par you guys i'm very very happy to report on that so like i said i am going to implement the dark burgundy shade so let's just go in with that Okay, this one has kind of like a metallic sheen to it. And you guys, so pretty. That is just one application. Let's just top it up and then we're going to blend it out. Okay, you guys, these shadows blend out so beautifully. Like that harsh line that was there earlier, it's like gone. It's beautiful. Now, I'm going to be going in with the glitter and with glitter pigments, especially when it is pressed into the pan. Usually, they are applied better with the fingers. You know, you just warm it up. The pigmentation actually goes on better. So, I'm going to be trying that out with this orange shade. But just for funsies, we are going to apply it on with a brush as well so you guys can see the difference. Okay, brush application. Yeah, no. <laughs> I think this is going to go on better with the finger. Oh, uh, yeah. That is much better. I like the shimmer on this because when you mix it with the shadows, it kind of looks like a very glossy finish, which honestly is a very Korean thing. Ooh, that is very, very pretty. I like that. And for the bottom shade, I'm going to be taking this brown and then I'm going to be mixing it with this taupe pink right at the bottom too. Now, I'm going to quickly do my brows and lashes off camera and then we're going to quickly come back and focus on the lips. So see you in a bit. So alright you guys, I didn't realize that my camera was not on. But anyway, in terms to the two, I did try out the lip tint and this is how it looks like. And I really like the consistency. It does not cling to any dry bits. It's really moisturizing. And you guys, 
it smells like coke and this is going to sound really weird too but it tastes like coke too now the lipstick is the same thing but what i realized with this is that it is a little bit dry and a bit patchy and this is in the shade ice orange and the reason why i chose the lip tint is the signature coke shade in the collection and i do not look good with orange so hence why the preference over here but if i had to recommend two products that you should definitely pick up from the collection i would say the eyeshadow palette would be a definite must as well as the lip tint just because it's so freaking beautiful and I really really like the consistency and keep in mind that I have dry lips so this is like a huge plus for me so on overall you guys I hope you all enjoyed this um, mini first impression tutorial sort of thing I am so so sorry that I did not manage to show you guys how it swatched but I do hope I'll be able to put for you guys a little bit of an insert you probably would have seen it earlier but as always if you did like this video please do give it a huge thumbs up subscribe if you haven't leave me a comment down below on what what you guys think of this collection or if you have personally tried it yourself i would love to hear from you guys but in the meantime i will see you guys later in my next one bye